In this question, we are given some shapes and we're asked to form and solve equations in order to find missing values. To approach the question, I'm going to consider both of the shapes. The left shape is an equilateral triangle, and I'm going to use what I know about an equilateral triangle to help me understand and how to form an equation. So I can see that all the sides are the same of the shape because it's an equilateral triangle. So I can say that 2x plus y is going to be the same as the side which is labeled 8 centimeters. So therefore, 2x plus y equals 8. My rectangle is going to be labeled, uh, well, <clears throat> it's not going to be labeled, but I know from the question that the perimeter of the rectangle is 20. So I'm going to write down an expression for the perimeter of the rectangle. So I'm just going to do that here. So an expression for the perimeter is going to be 5x minus y plus 4 plus another 5x minus y, because this side is also 5x minus y centimeters, plus this top side, which is also 4. So the perimeter is going to be, if I simplify, 5x plus 5x, 10x, minus y, take away y, minus 2y, plus 4, plus 4, that's plus 8. And that's my expression for the perimeter. Now, I'm told in the question that this value is going to be 20. So I can say 10x minus 2y is going to be, plus 8 even, is going to be 20. I can then rearrange this to get 10x and minus 2y on their own by subtracting the 2y, uh, subtracting the 8, sorry, from both sides. So I'm take the 8 over, it becomes a minus. 20 take away 8 is 12. And I get 10x minus 2y is 12. Now I'm going to write this equation underneath the first equation that I formed. So 10x minus 2y is equal to 12. And I can see now that I have formed two equations. So I've got 2x plus y is 8, 10x minus 2y is 12. I'm going to label the equations, I'm going to just write them underneath again. So 10x minus 2y equals 12. And 2x plus y equals 8. Top one I'm going to label equation 1, the bottom one I'm going to label equation 2. And then I'm going to solve these simultaneous equations um, in the standard way. I'm going to make the coefficients or numbers in front of the y's the same, except for the signs, obviously. So the second equation, I'm going to multiply by 2, so that instead of plus y, I have plus 2y. So I'm going to do 2 times equation 2, which will give me 4x plus 2y equals 16. And I'm going to label this equation as 3. So we have equation 1, 10x minus 2y equals 12. And equation 3, 4x plus 2y equals 16. And what I'm going to do then is add up these equations. Okay, so I'm going to do equation 1 plus equation 3. And I'm adding because the signs in front of the y's are different. Different signs, we add them. So 10x plus 4x, that's 14x. Minus 2y plus 2y is 0. 12 plus 16, that is 28. I'm then going to divide by 14 to give me x equals 28 divided by 14, which is 2. And then to get y, I'm going to substitute this value of x back into equation 1 doesn't actually matter which equation, but I could do equation 1. So I have 10 times 2 minus 2y equals 12, giving me 20 minus 2y is 12. I have a plus 20 on the left, so to take it over to the right, it will become a minus. So I get minus 2y equals 12, take away 20, which is minus 8. Finally, I can do 
y equals minus 8 divided by minus 2. A minus divided by a minus is a plus. This leaves me with an answer of plus 4. Finally, to check if my solutions are correct, I can substitute x equals 2 and y equals 4 back into any one of the equations. So let's just do equation 3. So I would have 4 times 2 plus 2 times, and then that was 4. Now that gives me 8 plus 8, which is 16, and that is indeed what we had. So our final answers are x equals 2 and y equals 4. And finally, out of interest, we could substitute these values back in to find the dimensions of the original shapes. So x was 2, y was 4. So we could substitute that in. So x was 2, y was 4, so 2 times 2 plus 4, and that obviously gives me 8, which is correct. And then into the rectangle, 5 times 2 minus 4, that's going to be 20 take away 4, which is um, 16, which would be the width of the rectangle.